More power, less downforce than their GT3 oh. Cousins. And yeah. that did not end nicely for either. Sophronis smells blood. He gets to the inside. Oh, oh the two come together. And around goes Rothberg. Yeah. It is in the carousel here, Calvin. And yeah, contact. Yeah, it looked like George Soren opened down on the inside. Didn't completely spin him around. This is another incident that happened on that opening lap. This is Perion, who appears to have gotten into the side of Shani. Sophronis is around. Sophronis up another spot. He might have got into the back of Rothberg. And O'Connell is there to pick up the pieces. Johnny O goes through. Wow. Oh, Whoa. more contact. That's Daskalos and Rothberg. Oh, that's such a shame. This incident is under review. Final lap. Schultes in the Corvette. Bang. Sixth half the time. It's a replay. He might have yeah, got help. I think he did. Zach Anderson. Replay of an incident that occurred a few laps ago. This is Colin Harrison up over the curb and into the number 36 car. Yeah. What happened? Mm. Lander came from way back. Oh, that's a fire. That is a big one. Jeff Rika car. Driver is out of the car. That is Jeff Rika. Ooh, that was scary, scary stuff. This is going to be up at the top of the frame here. Keep an eye. That's going to be wet and chill. Looks like he just missed the braking zone and made contact with Yoder. Yeah, just uh, two cars trying to occupy the same space. And Side by side, I believe that's the 22 of Devin Anderson. Ooh. Oh, Anderson was sideways. Oh, oh that's a big hit there. That in the tire nasty lick. What a move by Spencer Bucknam up the inside at 7A, and he might get through on Hewitt. Their side by side slide for Braden Arthur. A big slide for Braden Arthur. He's going to lose positions. Who's it going to be? A little bit of a gap, but keeping his line. Oh! That was Kohashi. Looked like he just skims the curb there. Look, the car's unsettled. It hits the ground, John. Yeah, he got the car. He got the certainly the right front side up in the air. And that's when the car came back down. It took a little bit of a turn and all of a sudden rotated. He's run deep into the corner. He's up the curb. He's off the road completely. He's going to cut the corner. He rejoins second. There's a spin. It looks like it's possibly 163. Christian Engelhardt that's gone around. It is. So he's dragging the debris. Charles Witt. Oh, oh and it's all let go. Bodywork flies onto the racetrack. There's hardly any bodywork left on that side of the car. Charles Witt's BMW does not look like a BMW at all. Look at it now. I thought there might have been a contact. Now, there, there was. The Ferrari, I think, must have tagged that left rear corner. And then you can, oh, what was all that about? Got Stefan Perrin not only behind him, but almost on the inside there. Perrin looking for a gap, and Liebel gets all crossed up, and there's contact, and around goes the KTM. It was sideways. It came across the front of the Mercedes that he has the chance of pulling away once again. And a big, big dive. This time it works. This time it's legit for Bremer. And contact behind us. Pret gets turned around. Martin Koch was on the inside. Contact between the two. It's looking a bit squirrely in the mid-pack, but they've all survived turn one. Now into turn two. Tamburini from Koffler, and then Simon Birch up to third. Whoops, drama in the background. One car off the road. And from another angle, it looked like this. Look, Dominic Albert on the outside. They just touch. Oh, so close. Almost avoided it. Loris Hesemans was lucky to get through. And so was Philippe Pretz as he had to scatter to the other side of the racetrack. Josh Rattigan, can he do so? Breaks as late as he possibly can into turn one. And Rattigan gets run out wide all over the kerb. And there you see, cars do cut, cars do contact each other. There's a spinning car off the road. Look at this battle pack coming down towards uh, turn four up the kerbs, over the kerbs. Sideways Porsche contact. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Last lap three get together. And debris all over the road. There's contact, and that turns the Porsche across the front of the Aston. And at the same time, into the back of them all, goes Jem Hepworth in the Rafa Team McLaren. Ah, it's just such an awkward one there. I don't really put anyone at fault, necessarily. The Aston Martin had every right to look for the inside, but it's just so tight, so tight through Turn 5 there. What happened, though, down at Turn 1, so Bonjman LaRiche went through. Ekelchik standing his ground on the outside that becomes the inside. Two into one doesn't go and around they both spin. Ekelchik was able to get away. Ferloni e Bensi a chiudere le prime sei posizioni, un piccolo contatto nelle retrovie proprio in occasione di curva 3-4, c'è anche una vettura in testa coda che viene colpita da un rivale, dunque subito un incidente.
e anche Jean-Marc Bourgino qui il contatto proprio del, nelle retrovie che ha portato a un ulteriore testa coda ecco la vettura numero 11 di Bourgino pilota transalpino di categoria senior con uh, anche la presenza di Monforte che cerca in tutti i modi di farsi vedere con uh, una lotta meravigliosa adesso verso curva 1 con il testa coda da parte di Xavier Burlar che colpisce anche un'altra vettura che però poi è stato risucchiato da, dal resto del gruppo e qui il contatto proprio tra Pedrini e Burlar che ha messo fine al Cabani per Kubaisi, il pilota in mezzo al, al suo rivale campionato Amnal Kubaisi uh, che va di nuovo a toccare di nuovo a al Draiani e al Moschergi con al Moschergi che ha, ha chiuso uh, ha chiuso al Draiani che è andato sul cordolo è saltato c'è al Moschergi che passa al eh, Moschergi approfitta del fatto ma con tanto si, si toccano no no, no. no. incidente grande Grandissimo, eh, è qua eh, presumo per avere l'interno, ma non ce la può fare. Infatti, no, Petrovic all'interno. Attenzione, uh, eh, c'è stato ah, no, eh. attenzione. Ci sono stati due incidenti distinti. Si trova in una posizione un po' sfortunata. Cerca di, di guadagnare. Ah, poi è andato sul cordolo. È largo, e ha, perso, sì. ha perso la macchina sul cordolo. Eh. Now has only done seven laps, and only a few of them have actually been timed. He's been doing some, some sets. Just seeing the replay, Sorry, Rach, Ted. You need to come in. Just seeing the replay. We're just okay. seeing. Attack from behind. Was it Alex Albon? Oh, it's just uh, the merest of contacts. Yeah, the put, merest of contacts. He put himself into a risky situation. Ah, oh, and then Ricardo, I think, reacts to the. Was it the Aston Martin on his left hand side? Yeah. He was unsighted. That for me. Shinya Nakajima. Likely taking no further part in this race as we get a look back at what happened. Oh dear, came into shot already facing the wrong way. James, oh, big move potentially on here for a oh, tag. The 152 and the 199 come together. Here's a replay of what happened at turn one. Komatsu, oh, contact there, sending Komatsu into the wall hard at the first corner. That was a bit of a hefty impact for Komatsu. Uchida and Imada with Imada looking to the inside. Contact between them. Oh dear, Imada. I think we're going to get a look here at what happened. Oh, that was a big collision between Miura and Kunihiro. So that was the Copa Shell lead. He's actually trying to chop his way through past Marcel Muller out of the first corner, but it is going to be Mascarello, the pole sitter, who leads in a turn one. What a start that is from Miguel Baludo, who's come all the way round the outside, and there's four cars that have come together at the tail end of the field. And then, unfortunately, everybody else got caught up in it. Carlos Campos had nowhere to go. He got damage from the incident. There it is, look. And yes, that does look to me like Franco Giafoni, unfortunately, who just tangled. He's going to have a look at something further back. So what's happened here? Oh, that's a spin. Now that's very unfortunate. That is Ramon Alcaraz. Let's see a replay. Now we're going to see what happened. Three wide is never good. Montero squeezes across Giafoni. And big, big damage from the treble eight of Lino Perez. So that was nicely handled. Oh, big incident. That's Lino Perez. Lino Perez has gone into the barrier hard. That's going to be a safety car. Something has happened there. And it doesn't even look like he was the one who initially caught up with it. That's Leonardo Sanchez. Oh, and Perez just has nowhere to go. It's the barrier and spins it. Oh, bitter disappointment for Lino Perez. So easily done in the rookie class. Oh, sorry, third in the rookie class, because second in the rookie category. Looks like he's the biggest. Oh, and the wheels come off. Goodness me. The wheel parts company from the number nine. He was going to be brave. The almost bang wheels. Herman trying to go the long way round on Christian Moore. Is he going to have enough to get there? Oh, they come together. That was pretty inevitable. What happened? Let's see. Wheel to wheel with the 99 car of Wagner Pontes. Oh, so fast at that point on the course as well. The back end steps out and Asunito bang into the wall. Now that's Castro battling away with Roque. And a big dive. Oh, that's gone terribly wrong. Seba Maluccelli. Right into the path of Roque. What are we going to see a replay of on the last lap? Or is this going to be the exit of Bertucchelli? Yes, it is. Whoops. And that's courtesy of Luis Souza. 
It's going to be four wide to the first corner. And around the outside comes Kyle Castro, but he overshoots on the brakes. Up the inside comes Tulio. Tulio's going to take the lead. Bassani goes into the side of one of the drivers, and that's Antonella Bassani out of the race already. Oh, and a mistake from Sadak Leiter. That should be enough for Gerson Campos. Leiter's going to come back at him on the inside, and there's contact and goes around. Sadak Leiter just pitches the right rear quarter of Gerson Campos. Já vinha rodando o carro do William Araújo. Aí mergulhou o Liber. Houve o toque lateral entre eles. E os dois saíram rodando até por conta de um segundo toque também. And the first to make it, oh, but not make the first corner completely outbreaking itself is the 962. And then it gets a tap and a spin at the start of a four hour race. And Nico Otto could do very little about that. Otto trying on the inside and he's taking him out. He takes him out into Tiergarten, a do or die maneuver from Otto. But it's very nearly four abreast as they hit the brakes. 962, much better attack into the first corner compared to yesterday. But there is a spin for a VW Golf. Now that's not the number 10 car. Lembrando que nós vamos ter mais duas corridas aí da da MBR do do MBR, né? O programados para o domingo. Olha o sururu formado. Olha ali o acidente. Fabiano Doni voltou para a pista. Querendo essa primeira posição, vem no lado a lado tentando, buscando, ainda não conseguiu. Enquanto isso, ali atrás também está o Pavelski. E olha o Cezinha Bonilha ainda lá para a caixa de Brita e também... Ficando a disputa, valendo a segunda colocação. E com isso, o primeiro colocado vai abrindo vantagem. Né? Melhor olha o volta... que aconteceu com o Juliane e com o, o Juca Lisboa. Ó, teve um toque do Fausto, ah, aí tocou o Mascarenhas toque. também. Aí o Fabiano Donner, aparentemente também envolvido, aí teve o Massaro. Na verdade a gente vem tendo um fim de semana muito difícil desde sexta-feira. O equipamento é novo, a gente não conseguiu fazer o carro funcionar. Sensacional para o Fuzuki. Encontrou espaços, viu brechas e sabonetão total. Olha aí a capotagem do Natan Esperafico. Voltou, vambora. Ih, mas soltou alguma coisa lá embaixo. A galera com o pé no fundo e já dando show. E olha só, tem piloto indo pra grama. Opa, que girada bonita. Opa, Vai lá pancada, nesse momento. Pancada, pancada forte. Pancada no pancada início forte. de prova, hein? É o Scort número 47. Nós temos aí nessa primeira prova, então. Olha só Rapaz, o replay. Rapaz, veio de lado. Aí bateu o Frajão, bateu devagar aí. Aí, justamente no ponto onde é. que o Rodrigão também... É. Bem... Ah, e o, o, o Marcelo comprou pronto ali. Tentou desviar, mas... Não, ele acabou. Ele, acho que ele pegou só de revesgueio ali da, o Fuca, mas acabou indo para a barreira de pneus. Exatamente. Vamos ver se ele consegue voltar aí, então. O Marcelão é, mas essa panca aí. É, é uma panca considerável, que chegou a levantar o carro, né? O Giacomazzi vai fechando a porta, vai mantendo por dentro aí ele, que na primeira. Ele passou reto, passou oh, reto oh, Leandro bateu. Carvalho. Passou reto Leandro Carvalho. Já se põe, se põe de costado o auto. De Chapur, se põe de costado, hein? E o tema é quem o esquiva e quem não o pode esquivar. E não o pode esquivar, Sanfer. Muito forte. Gol passo. E o faz neste momento. Vai tentá-lo por fora, se cierra. Se mete, oh. e o tocaram. Sal se estira. E a curva 1. Um. Sal e Calvani, os dois. Lo toca Canapino. Fíjense allá atrás. Atrás. Bonet e Mario Valle. Ah, e se lo encontra se JB. Lo encontrou cruzado. Mira vos. A mala fortuna. First gear, second gear, and it was drifting to the right towards the center line. And Camry had to take her foot off the gas to keep the car from... Whoa! Hang on, Camry! Wow! Down in the finish line area, that thing hung a left and went into the wall. Banked across and into the other one. David Gravel getting closer to Sheldon Hodenshield. Oh, Sheldon gets into the slower car and spins! Sheldon Hodenshield! And now looks again to the outside of the 41 of Carson Macedo. Fifth spot up for Brown, they make contact! Contact between Abreu and Macedo, and Abreu sits sideways in turn two. I watched John Hunter Nemechek here in the Skip Barber Racing oh, car. Oh, brakes, yep. yeah. yeah. You were See right. tire blow out right there as he wouldn't hit the brakes going into the corner. Decides to take the six and the 92 three wide, and um, Broom runs out really quick here. Yeah, I don't think those guys were, were quite ready for that. I don't think it was a bad move, uh, but she, she was pinched pinching the 44 down onto the curb there and uh, obviously they all got together it seemed like just ripped the nose off that's really all the damage there was but yeah, you see the launch two on the one oh. you see the launch on the one not be very good it looks like the nine. Oh, we have a big stack of Austin Hill with a bunch of damage Corey Heim AJ Allmendinger it produces our line. fourth caution of the night wow top right of the screen looks like Jeb was, was in the middle of three wide and 
lost a bit of drive on the exit, and some guys got stacked up from behind, and just a lot of contact. And now what brought out the caution that ended the race, Riley Herbst in the 98. Backs it into the wall. So oh. Matt Kraft, I don't know if, I don't know. Looks like Matt's truck just went straight. Don't know if he hit the curb and caused it to go straight, but he made contact. Lane's on the outside, Jack Wood down on the bottom. Did Jack slide up or did a shove from the back, Sammy, Sammy Smith, Smith? And did, you know, it's it's interesting. If you're Jack Wood, you say, uh, I know I hit you, but somebody hit me. Yeah. He's going to get in the back of Spencer Boyd. And, that, and Lane Riggs was just on the outside, an innocent bystander. Guys, let's see what happened here. He's right on the tailgate of the 43 of Daniel Dye. And he oh, wrecks, wrecks himself. Spins around. That's. Mash just now outside the top 15. Oh. Oh. Ooh, oh man. That was a huge hit. What a bad break that was. To the three wide. Oh, and he gets hit from behind. Caden Honeycutt in the 45, maybe a little contact. Yeah, bumped in the back of Holmes, and that just took. This is chain reaction you can see started going bad up ahead of Raja nothing Daniel could do he was just a victim of all that went down Grand in the nine truck try to see the 66 you're exactly right oh big hit into the back of Jake Garcia his teammate yeah I don't think Stewart got on the gas quite like Grant thought he was gonna the bottom of your screen. De posiciones tras la salida, John Vikendi, Joao Agra, Joan Sala y Oscar Fuertes. Atención ahí a la montonera, veíamos que se metía por delante Alex Costa. Cierra la posible trazada a los rivales y atención el 44 de Víctor Vicente. Queríamos hacer coincidir esa cuenta atrás también con la salida. Estábamos viendo como atención a uno de estos participantes de la segunda tercera fila. Ha messo a capo Kevin Manfredi con la Suzuki. Gianluca Sconza, colpo di scena Bernardi, appena fatto il giro veloce. Finisce giù così purtroppo. Nella nuova M2 Racing Revo si stacca e intanto arriva una scivolata. E una MV di Luca Ottaviani davanti a Lorenzo dalla porta. Subito qualche contatto inizio gara per fortuna. Prima fila completata da Davide Stirpe con la Ducati nel garage 51. Qui autore di un grande sorpasso, questo invece Nicolò Castellini con la seconda MV. I primi tre allungano, hanno gran ritmo e poi azzarda un po' alle curve del carro Emanuele. È abbondante, oltre i 5 secondi, arriverà fino a 14 secondi in finale, si va così all'ultimo, Cazzaniga alle curve del carro, finisce giù. Bartolini, vice campione con l'Aki Racing Team e poi il campione in carica della Premoto 3. E il copione sembra molto simile, attenzione però subito il volo pesante di Pier Francesco Venturini senza gravi conseguenze. Costinelli, Barbagallo con Pritelli, Savino, si aggiungerà poi Galiuto, purtroppo qui una caduta senza conseguenze ma perdiamo... Lo veia più preciso che Borja, el, el, soprattutto nel primo entreno. Muy bien, abbiamo una, una caída. caída, non so se ha sido Samuel Díaz. O oh, stava detrás di de Guillem. Opa! Pedro Bala! As pedaleiras estão ali. Se está tudo funcionando. Epa! Ai, 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 ai! Edu Moura! That was Siwa jumping too far left. Landed in some soft stuff. He went over the bars, picked himself up in 20 seconds. But on lap 9, he took the front. And as he picked himself up, lucky not to get landed on here by Tim Geiser, who the ref of Calvin Belanran and Roman Fevre. Fevre came home in fifth. Geiser fell on the final lap, didn't lose any time though. But the Ram MX2 qualifying race got off to a uncomfortable start. Number 96, Lucas Kuna went down. He took a couple of riders with him, including the number 80 of Andrea Adamo. Elzinger eventually coming home in sixth. Not for the first time today or in this race to move up into sixth place. Then Sasha Kunin would fall. Adamo went around the outside of him. Lucas Kunin fell from second, pushing too hard to find a way past his teammate. Good start for the number one of Duncan, but at the inside it was Chiara Fontanese, Lynn Volk, and then just in the background here, five or six riders fell down. And running into the back of them was a 4-0-1 there. Lot of Andrew and somebody went A over T. A couple of riders on the outside fell there. 
four riders down the inside here, and one of those going down in yellow, Nicole Alvizi, last year's 85cc European champion. He came home in fifth, that move on Bavort's getting into that fifth place. He then tipped over here as he was challenging Bartlett. Bartlett then disappeared. The first of two crashes here over the bars, and face planted, picked himself up. We didn't see the second one. Junson swept past. Noel Xanox, that was Mano 4, a lazy, tired crash with a couple of laps to go. Picked himself up in eighth and then fell again. Your race leader fell as well, Mano 4. That was on lap 10 of 14.